Hello, I'm David Brown from the SolidWorks training team. As a maker, I love to design and build things out of wood. I need specific information in a cut list for me to accurately determine the quantities and size of materials for a project. In SolidWorks, I accomplish this with custom materials and bounding box data. If you haven't already, check out my video called Leverage Bounding Box Data in a Cut List. In this video, I'll show you how I create and use custom materials in SolidWorks for my woodworking projects. Let's get started. Here I have a new part open in SolidWorks. I'll right click Material in the Feature Manager Design Tree and click Edit Material from the Context menu. SolidWorks provides a library of SolidWorks materials for you to use. This library is read only. You will notice at the bottom is a library called Custom Materials. This library is one that I created for my woodworking projects. The structure of the library is similar to a folder structure. This is the library, this is category, and these are the materials. When I created my library, I copied a material from the SolidWorks library and pasted it into the custom library. I'll demonstrate this by creating a new material for a 2x6. I expand the category for woods from the SolidWorks library and right click the material Pine. From the context menu, I choose Copy. Then I right click the category Wood in the custom library and click Paste to add it to my library. When I select it from the list, I can now edit the properties. I'll name it 2x6. I really don't care about all the physical properties because I am not interested in performing FEA on my woodworking projects. But you will notice that the mass density does come over from the SolidWorks material. That may come in handy if I wanted to estimate the weight of my projects, but I typically don't really care about that either. I've moved enough furniture in my life to have a pretty good idea. What I do care about is how it looks in my model. So I will choose the Appearance tab, and I really like how polished pine end grain looks. So I select that, and I'll check the Crosshatch tab as well. The default is cork for all the wood material, and I'm okay with that. I'll click Save to save the library. Again, I'm not concerned with simulation stuff, so I click OK and move on. Now I have a list of materials that I use regularly in my projects, so I will close the dialog. I'll quickly show how to add a material to a cut list item. This is a model of a section of a miter station that I designed and built for my garage. You can see some of the pieces don't have a material applied to them yet. I'll expand the cut list folder for them, and since you can assign different materials to individual bodies in SolidWorks, I'll shift select the four bodies, right click and choose Material, and then Edit Material, and select 2x4 from my Custom Materials Library. I'll click Apply and Close. I chose to make my library this way because when I create a drawing, I want specific information in the cut list. SolidWorks gives me the tools and freedom to customize my design environment to give me just what I need for my projects. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this content helpful, visit the site below to access more content regarding SolidWorks drawings.